I, I find that quite curious, you know, that you can that you can know who Dylan is and yet be so un, unprepared for what he's going to do, i.e. just what he wants to do. Um, so I, I find that a kind of curious thing. But like you say, maybe that's a broader thing in terms of just society. You know, if we're not kind of spoon fed the thing we're expecting to receive, um, we're taken aback and we're shocked by that. And, and, and I think, as I kind of mentioned in that piece, you know, he really is uh, the only person that's doing that, you know, even even the great kind of the people I, I I love apart from Dylan, you know, you think of like Leonard Cohen or, you know, Paul McCartney actually, you know, is, is, is great as well. And, and he has tried to do different things later in his career. But when you see them perform, you know, Cohen especially um, would just go through his stone book, you know, and you're thinking, well, there's no one else like Dylan, you know, there's no one else that's going, you know what, as you said, you know, the entertainment thing, it's tangential to him. If you're entertained, that's great. But he is on his his performance is essentially part of this great odyssey that is his life. It's like, what am I going to do tonight? I don't know, but I'm going to walk down that path regardless, and I'm going to see where I am at the end of it. And if you enjoy that, great, good for you. But this isn't about you; this is about me. And that's that's the joy of Bob. That his life is essentially this odyssey of exploration and creation. And and that's I guess that's why we're here, you know, to talk about him because because we find it so fascinating. <laughs> 